In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the immune system. The immune system is a system within the body that protects us from potential pathogens or bugs. So let's suppose there's a pathogen inside our body. This pathogen could be a bacteria or a parasite or even a virus. It's got some proteins on the outside. Now we need some cells to get rid of this pathogen. So the first one we try is called a neutrophil or a polymorph because it's got different shaped nuclei. And this appears in the initial stages of infection and releases a whole lot of granules and antimicrobial products to try and kill the pathogen. If this doesn't work, then the macrophages arrive on the scene. M with a circle with a dash through it is an abbreviation for a macrophage. And these arise from monocytes which float around in the blood. And the macrophage attempts to eat the pathogen. Now floating around in the blood are a lot of proteins which recognize pathogens. The most important is known as C3B. And these attach onto the surface of the pathogen and trigger a whole lot of events. And this is what's known as the complement system or the complement cascade. If this doesn't work and the pathogen successfully invades a cell, this is a human cell, And there's the pathogen inside. Then the cell can send out a stress signal. And this calls on another type of cell called a natural killer cell or NK cell for short, to release a whole lot of products that ask the cell to die. And if this cell dies, it should take the pathogen with it. Another way to try and stop the pathogens from even entering a cell is to use antibodies. And these are produced by B cells. These float around in the blood and attach to the pathogen surface proteins. And these can activate complement cascade or they can interfere with the function of the pathogen. Now little bits of these pathogens can come off. and they get swallowed up by a cell known as a dendritic cell, or a DC for short. Now the DC puts these little bits of the pathogen in a molecule. This is known as the MHC molecule. And T cells, of which there are two types, this is a T helper cell, can then be induced to release chemicals that allow the B cells to do their job better and also encourage macrophages and neutrophils to arrive on the scene. Now the other type of T cell, a cytotoxic T cell, 
receives this signal from the dendritic cell on that MHC molecule. And it then goes and finds infected human cells and gets them to die and take the pathogen with them. And in this way, the body controls the presence of pathogens. If the pathogen gets past all these defences, then the body is in real trouble. And that's an overview of the immune system. Keep in mind that this overview is very simplified and a lot more complex interactions go on.